Now, you mentioned earlier that the telescope is in L2, uh, Lagrange Point 2, which is part of the solar system, one of several parts of the solar system that are in gravitational balance. So it's on its opposite the sun from the earth. And they one of the reasons they chose that that particular lo- location is that it would be in the shadow, it would be in perpetual eclipse, right? It would always be in the shadow of the earth. So that blocks a lot of the heat. Infrared, very sensitive to heat. They had to keep it down. They had to keep the heat, um, the heat as low as they could. That is to say they needed to get the instrument down to absolute zero, close to absolute zero, not absolute zero, but as close to it as as they could. So that means that one side of the instrument, the the whole instrument, is going to be facing the sun, or the earth, actually, and that's going to be getting, soaking up a lot of heat, even though the sun is, is in eclipse. And the other half is going to be pointing out towards the rest of the universe. So they need to make that side very cold. The other side is going to be hot, just because it's, um, because it's facing in the direction of the sun. So there is this difference of hundreds of degrees, you know, hundreds of degrees below zero to hundreds of degrees above zero, uh, either Fahrenheit or Celsius for that matter. And between the two, they're gonna have a sun, sun shield to keep the universe facing part of the instrument cold. So the sun shield needs to unfold. This particular statistic might be my favorite from the whole enterprise, which is that the sun shield is actually five layers. And each layer, as I say in the book, it's is the length of a long tennis lob and the width of a tissue, which is just crazy. I mean, that's like nuts, you know, and they have to unfold it and the five layers and, and eventually it creates an SPF sun protection factor of a million, I think it is. You're not going to get that at Walgreens.